our innermost shift coaching course and uh, we are here to give presentations about what we will be doing further with this course, what we have learned in this course with the NLP tools. So everybody is deciding on what area they will be working as a, a coach. Uh, so there are various areas like corporate coaching and sports coaching and relationship coaching. So I have decided for myself that I will be coaching as a performance coach. And uh, what I see nowadays in society is that there is a lot of competition going on everywhere and people are under constant pressure, under constant stress of uh, del delivering better and better every day. So they are under tremendous stress. So I would like to uh, coach students, especially students, that if they want to live in the competition, if they want to perform well, then they have to connect to their inner resources and they have to awaken their inner potential in order to perform better in their life and not get under stress uh, much. So I have designed a model called Awaken Your Potential and uh, my main target area for that will be school and college students. So what techniques I will be using, what NLP techniques I will be using are, first is feeling good for no reason because I think uh, that is what we are to, uh, taught in our course that if you want to awaken your potential, awaken your true potential, then you have to be in a good mental state. So if you are in a good mental state, then only you can connect to your resources and then only you can perform well. So feeling good for no reason will be the main exercise that I will be taking with them in the first session. Then I will go to model of excellence because uh, I believe that you can uh, unleash your true potential only when you uh, want to become the model of excellence yourself and when you understand what it means to become a model of excellence, what it means to have the resources within you then only you can uh, have uh, you can become the true self that you want to be so third exercise will be motivation to reach the goal where the students will come to know what uh, they want to go away from and what they want to go towards so because of that they will, uh, they will have two goals one is goal of execution and one is goal of avoidance and they will learn what they want to achieve in life fourth will be breaking rules and mastery syndrome so when students are at a, a good performance level, they get this mastery syndrome that now I know everything, so now I can work better in life and now I can give my exams properly, so they become overconfident. So that time they need to uh, break rules and learn new things. So this uh, exercise will help them understand new patterns of thinking and uh, think in a different way of, uh, think in a different way. So uh, f fifth will be the mapping across and discipline strategy. So with this strategy, they will be able to learn anything and everything in whatever situation that comes to them because uh, it is important to learn and keep learning all the time. And uh, sometimes some things you learn quickly, some things you learn unbelievably and some things you learn enjoyably. So, so, <laughs> so, if you can learn something quickly, enjoyably and unbelievably, then you are in a learning state of mind and that helps you to achieve any target in life and you can achieve any goal in life if you have that learning mindset or learning strategy with you. And last will be goal setting and I will use the IC probe model for this goal setting exercise which, which is the basic, of, basis, basic foundation of this NLP tools that is IC probe gap. So with that we will come to, I uh, will be able to identify their, what their problem is and what resources they have within themselves and how to overcome their limitations and what goals they can achieve in what time without deadline they can achieve it. So thank you.